<laughs> there you people, Sprout and Puppet, and this is how to draw an old school heart. Enjoy. Right people, how to draw an old school heart. Now this is like the uh, anatomical one, so it's not like the basic, just love heart shape. Get yourself a nice egg shape. Like so. I'm going to do mine slightly at an angle. So I'm going to have this egg shape slightly angled. Once you've done that, I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to bring a line up coming from this edge, cutting it in just a little bit. And then curving out the egg shape. Go to the top, bring that line back. Curve in the same sort of similar way and just fade it off like with a pencil. Side bit here, just bring in one curve, just come through the middle. The second one, just bold out a little bit. So it comes out of the line, so it's sort of bumping out. Next one, it's going to come across here. I'm going to bring in, reinforce this line bit here, just start a little bit lower than the line. Cut through it, come up. Do a little circle on top, bring that line down a touch. Do the exact same thing again, bring a line up, curving, so it kind of goes under that line. Circle on top, curve down. Bring the curve shape, just come over those two bits. About there, and having this one kind of curve down here, so it kind of connects. So you sort of split it up into sections. On the side here, it's going to start making these little semicircles. So you're going to bring a semicircle there, off the edge. Circle shape, just off the edge, off the edge, off the edge, just coming around there. Like so. Reinforce that. Going to bring in a little valve, so just bring in a curved line, curved line, curve the top. Slightly larger one, just there. Like so. And then what I'm going to do is just once you get to here, I'll start from this side, it's going to bring in S curves, so curve this way. And curve back. Curve back up, going a bit wider. Come to a point. Start another one coming down. S curve. Start up, going a little bit wider. To a point. Down, to a point. Up. Down, to a point. And back up. And do one more, just a little one just there. Get yourself Sharpie or like a pen. And then just pen that in. Take your time with this, I'm just gonna Quickly go through it. And I've drawn God knows how many of these before, so it comes quite natural to me, so I can go a bit quicker. But don't feel like you have to go the same speed as me. Just take your time and go as fast or as slow as you want to. Once you've done that, get your rubber. Rub out that pencil work. I'm going to colour it in with my markers, but you can use whatever you want. Pencils, water paints, acrylic, whatever you want. It all works the same way. Now where we've got these valve bits, I'm just going to do a black line coming down the centre. So there, so you just follow that tube shape. Start at the top of here. Pin out that. And that one. I'll leave that one. And just a little bit, just under here, in between each one of these gaps. Flick some just under this top bit, just there. I'm just going to flick a little bit, just coming from this bottom. No crazy. I'm just going to get my greys and I'm just going to blend these out. Come in with a slightly lighter grey. Using the side to side motion a lot, like when I come down these valves, just long lines. You know, just helps you get a nice smooth blend rather than flicking it in there. 
Same concept when you water painting or just paint on a general, you know. It's good practice to land that side to side motion. Going to time I tend to flick out when it's on these like straight bits just here. It's coming with a lighter grey now and just blending out those shades. Just like so. If you get a little bit that isn't quite smoothed out, let it dry and then you can just go over the edge with it again. You know, your light grey will go a bit darker over itself once you sort of give it a second layer. So now that I'm doing that. So that's it pretty much for like your black shading. Now remember this is old school so it's not special look realistic, just like realistic elements. I'm just going to go over this section in red. I'm not going to do the whole thing in red. You can do if you want, but with the old school, I like to go a bit crazier the colours. You know, just put some colours that you know don't normally get there. Well, then again, I suppose the real heart isn't just red. You know, it's got red, it's got greys, flesh tones, blues, greens. on this bit just there and I think I'll colour this one in red I'm going to colour this side a bit here just in yellow it comes out kind of golden on this paper it's just uh, this paper is just a uh, CY Brighton it's just like a recycled kind of paper like you know tan paper it's nothing special, it's not really designed for drawing on to be honest, but I just like to draw on it. I think it's just cool. Coming in with a blue. Just gonna go over this bit of blue. that bit and then I'm gonna come in with orange I think for this bit I'm gonna do a pattern on this I'm just gonna do circles just having inside the orange line keeps overlapping so you get a negative white not overly traditional this but I just like it it just it looks good I saw one eye still once but I can't really remember who their name was you know, I just looked at them and that's a really cool idea, you know, sort of pattern work rather than just bold colouring in. If you remember the artist, you know, do let me know because I would like to give them some credit. You know, because I didn't originally come up with the concept. My pattern, but your pattern in there was inspired by someone else. You know, credit where credit's due. That's pretty much how you draw the old school heart. You know, you can always decorate, you can have a dagger through the top. You know, like, <clears throat> drawn already, you got one here, you can do a dagger through it. I'll do the dagger in a separate tutorial, so you sort of like learn how to do the whole dagger and everything. But, yeah, that's pretty much how you do the heart. You can always add flowers and stuff on the outside. I'll do one just here, I'm going to circle shape. Do another sort of circle just around that. You can use like a an actual sort of measurement to get this right if you want. Unless you're just sketching this in. Just an extra little detail you can do. And I'm being very rough with this, so. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to keep bringing these long 
curve shapes just curving with the circle so it goes around and around and once I get hit it's going to keep joining up two of them just a little leaf bit just in between I mean, you can go on forever doing that sort of thing, like you can a little overturn. And with these kind of flowers, you can just keep adding and adding and adding until they're ridiculously big and then just colour it in I'm going to add too much black, just a little flick just here and there just a little bit just on the inside of these ones might add black just here like cutting in the shape and just leaving a white highlight Sounds like lunch to me. Just flicking this grey side to side, just blend out that black. And the grey just on these ones. And then it's going to come with some colour. I will the first. Got that crap. Yellow for the centre. Orange for those bits. For these bits, I tend to use the same kind of colours, you know, because the old school is kind of limited. I know I use orange a lot, you know, I use reds, blues, you know, I mean, it's sure more like brownish and that, but yeah, I like using orange, it just looks good. Um, green. The other thing I was saying is try to avoid having the colours mixing, like you want one red touching the heart, because it just make it look like it's joined to it. You want it being separate. There, there. I think I'll leave that little white bit just on those ones, I quite like that. But yeah, that is how to draw an old school heart. I hope you like it. Check out my videos, subscribe, like, yada yada, use your routine, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.